uh, out of Tampa. There we go. Where the Yankees and Aaron Boone have announced that Aaron Judge has a stress fracture in his rib. Uh, Yankees are going to try two weeks of rest, but surgery to remove the rib is not off the table. The stress fracture is in a judge's first right rib. Boone said he believes it dates to an outfield dive in September. So, obviously, he's going to miss the start of the season for sure. And it could be a lot more than that if, in fact, they have to remove the, um, the rib. So, after a dozen tests, by, from what we're hearing, a dozen tests, they find out that he has a stress fracture in his rib. I don't know how that translates into... Mm. The peck, but maybe the yeah. top rib is kind of in that general area. But it dates back to September. You had all winter to look at this. I don't understand why it takes so long to find this. Now, obviously, if it's an everyday person, right, it doesn't matter because you're not going to look that deeply, all right? Just eventually the pain's going to go away. But for an athlete, you want to find out the reason. Why would it take so many tests? I don't know. And so there's no timetable, but obviously he hasn't swung a bat, so it's going to go at least, you know, the first week of the season, I would think. Oh, for sure. I mean, he hasn't swung a bat, so they're going to reevaluate in two weeks. Now, we can look at the Rangers rookie goalie, Shesterkin, right. and he's back within two weeks, but we don't know if it's the same thing. Uh, this is something that's been bothering him since, since, since September. They're talking about possibly removing the rib. If they do that, I cannot believe that's a quick turnaround. No, you, you would have to get open up, right, and then remove the rib. Yeah. I would think that that would take some time. You'd be sore for a while. It's incredible that, you know, nobody's going to criticize the Yankees. I'm not saying that they did anything wrong here, but it's just so odd that it would take so long to find out specifically what's wrong. It was test after test after test, and even now, when we seem to have some resolution, it's still unknown how long he's going to be out. Were they, are they going to have to remove the rib? He's only one of the most important players on the team. So um, I, I went down a rabbit hole, and I Googled how long does it take to come back from a stress fracture in the rib. Uh, and obviously, it all depends on the person, the, the shape they're in. Obviously, he's in great shape. Um, so I'll read this from Heart Healthy. While healing time for bruised ribs typically ranges anywhere between five to six weeks, mm. rib fractures might take longer to heal. The time one would take to recover would also vary, depending on the overall health of the patient. It might range from six weeks to six months. However, following certain self-care measures will surely help in speeding up the recovery process. Taking adequate rest is extremely important. The affected individual must refrain from performing any strenuous physical activity that might worsen his or her condition. Again, that is not specific to... That's the everyday Joe. Yeah, it's everyday Joe. But, uh, so let's cut it in half. Then three it's weeks. Three weeks. All right, then he can be back for the start of the season, right? We're still... Well, no. Not, well, yeah, like three weeks, I guess he could be ready for opening day. No, 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 no. I, well, today's not, the 7th. Yeah, but, but Don, he's got, he won't, won't be able to swing a bat. He hasn't well, that, that's a bat. part of it, too, yeah, so... So, I mean, he's going to at least need two or three weeks of swinging a bat, I would think. So I, I'm conservative in looking, if everything goes well, conservatively, that he'd miss April. Conservatively. Now, if they remove a rib, that's a completely different story. But, you know, if rest would, would heal this, done. He heard it in September. I'm sure he had rest throughout the winter. I'm sure he works out, but didn't he feel it? This is so odd. And you can't say, well, blame it on this, blame it on that. Every single player that's injured goes to the best doctors in the world. They might not be the Yankee doctors. They might be the Yankee doctors. <laughs> they, they, they go to the best people, the specialist in the field. And it, it didn't crop up until now? I, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely stirring into you-know-what. But if this was Pete Alonso and the Mets, the typical Mets they have no idea what they're doing. How, how can you not know what's wrong? Right? So the Yankees get the benefit of the doubt, and why not? Right, they generally should. Although, you know, although Don... Over the last two years, should we be giving them the medical benefit of the doubt? Do they really deserve it over the last two years? 
Things haven't exactly been. I mean, we kind of give him the benefit of the doubt with Severino. Like, why why wasn't this diagnosed earlier? He could have had Same surgery thing with Paxton. right at the end of the season. Paxton you go, too. You go back to Teixeira. How long? Remember bone bruise? You know, is there a fracture in the leg? Remember how long we waited to find out what's wrong with uh, Teixeira's leg, and then we eventually found out the worst case scenario. But I guess because you win and you're the Yankees, you get up from it. But you do see that there have been some issues medically. And then on top of it, all the guys that get hurt in the first place. All right, let's, here's um, Aaron Boone talking about the injury. So we'll listen to the Yankee manager. Uh, and you'll see it also on Yes and listen on the radio. We got judge update. So he has um, a stress fracture of the first right rib. Um, obviously, a lot of tests to get. It's a tough diagnosis to, to find. Um, so that's what we're dealing with. Um, it does, you know, it's probably an injury that dates back to September when he when he dove, we think. Um, you know, signs are that it's, it shows signs of healing. Um, so we're going to give it the next couple of weeks, and then we'll re- uh, retest to, sh to show how much healing is going on with that rib um, when we do the CT scan again. Um, so that's where we're at. Any idea how long? No, um, because I think hopefully we'll reassess in two weeks of where he's at um, as far as, you know, if the bone's healing and then hopefully have, a, have an idea of what that looks like. Um, and, and then kind of reassess at that point. The uh, only treatment is rest? No, there is, you, you could do surgery at some point to remove the rib. Um, so I wouldn't say that's off the table, but um, that's not, uh, you know, the, you wouldn't want to go do that right now, uh, especially if the bone is healing. Um, yeah. do, you, do you know why it took long then to find that stress fracture? What was it that was so hard to complicate it? Before? Well, I mean, you know, he ended up going through, you know, 10, 12, 11, you know, different tests. And, I mean, my understanding is it's, it, it's a hard thing to find because you're not going to find it in MRIs or different scans.